when you're feeling a bit blah, there are so many ways to get the energy going. And if the motivation is a little bit low, then a great massage is the perfect way to go. It's uplifting, it's energising and relaxing all at the same time. In the world of Reiki, that energy is said to come from the energy fields around the body. And that energy is transferred through the practitioner's hands. That's why it's also called a palm healing. I'm totally up for it. Let's check it out. Okay, so what we're going to do to start off the session, just going to start some nice, slow, deep breaths. So when you're ready, take a nice, slow inhalation in. That's it. Bring I guess for me, how I came to Reiki is it's such a subtle and beautiful, gentle kind of modality, but it makes you feel extremely safe in your body and kind of connecting someone back into the main energy points and into the own self-autonomy is really important as a practitioner. So it kind of clients come back feeling in their own power, basically, and energetically able to self-regulate and yeah, live their life based on more authentically who they are. In every culture, you'll always find there's always been a form of energy healing or hands-on healing. Reiki itself was brought forward by a Japanese doctor called Dr. Mikao Yasui in the early 1900s. So he was someone who was a scholar and a teacher. And he, he actually studied lots of ancient healing art forms prior to that time, particularly in the Indian. Um, Ayurvedic kind of medicine system as well as Tibetan Buddhism and he kind of brought forth the system which is yeah a complete energy healing medicine system. So these crystals I'm just using um, on your on main energy points and your main chakra points it's not necessary to use in a Reiki treatment I just like to kind of ground and anchor the points more so. So as a Reiki practitioner you go through a process of an attunement process and so with that process it allows a practitioner just to connect to the universal life force so that's nothing foreign um, you know as we know and and physics tells us everything is made of energy. So the Reiki practitioner, it just, yeah, they really connect and direct that universal life force to the client's body and their own internal life force. Let's talk about that energy for a second. Yeah. When I'm in a Reiki session, mm -hmm. are you working off my energy, yeah. your energy, or the energy around us? The energy around us, so more of that universal collective energy. So essentially with Reiki, I'm just facilitating and kickstarting the body's own innate, like self-healing and self-regulating mechanisms. So it's really how the body responds to um, rebalancing to its own set point. So that can look very different for different people. Sometimes I have clients that have really strong vibration feelings. Sometimes they have nervous system release. Sometimes visuals or colors come through. But definitely heat is one of the most common experience. Clients often have that feedback of like, wow, your hands really heated up in that area where I've had an injury there, for instance. But say if I'm working on a more of an emotional level, sometimes old emotions or old previous memories or even previous trauma can rise. Um, as I'm kind of rebalancing and getting everything flowing again in the system. How are you feeling there, Luke? Very relaxed. Good. And so you can feel quite a lot of heat coming through at the moment, mm -hmm. particularly on the right side. So there's a balancing out around your temporal bone here. So it's kind of coming up and around the side here. So if it gets too hot, let me know. But that's just part what of it. What do you feel mm -hmm. in your hands during the treatment? Um, I generally feel different sensations as I'm working on different points. So it can be different um, electrical charge, heat. I can feel different sensation, fluid movements, muscle kind of relaxing. So I'm kind of picking up and feeling what the clients are receiving in responding to the Reiki. Is that comfortable there for mm -hmm. you? Mm. Particularly on the right side as well, there's a bit more of a kind of charge or frequency going downwards. So just kind of... I think a lot of people seek Reiki for just managing a lot of the mental health, whether it's stress, depression, lack of sleep. Also to gain a bit more clarity and feel a little bit more centred in themselves when they're feeling a bit off. I treat a lot of clients who also have pre-op and post-op. So it's really beneficial alongside any other allopathic or any other allied or alternative therapy. It can be, you know, used alongside those who are on different medications or going through different treatments. So there's no real contraindications in that sense. So in that way, a lot of people who have tried lots of different kind of avenues for their health and particularly chronic health conditions, I feel like, yeah, they reach out to Reiki to just get that overall global support, which then really has a nice balancing effect for where they're at in their condition. I've had plenty of massages in my time, but none have put me to sleep that quickly or effectively. 
I was out like a light. I started to just let go of what was racing through my mind and completely tune into the process. And by tuning in, I actually tuned out. If Reiki is about the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system and completely letting go, well, it allowed me to do just that. Now, I'm not quite sure how the energy side of it works, but what I do know is this. I feel like I've had eight hours of sleep, I feel really energised for the day, and I feel really focused about what's ahead. If you're a little bit curious, I reckon definitely give it a go.